In today's video, we will be taking a look at the latest release of the Sodachi emulator, which is version 1.0.14. We will be looking at the new features and also guide you through the installation process. So let's get started. Now, when you look here, I'm currently running on the latest version of the Sodachi emulator, which is version 1.0.14. So with this version, the developers has been hard at work and while the details chain log is available on the official website, I will do try my best to explain this to you guys. So um, some of the key updates include improved performance and enhanced compatibility with a broader range of Switch games. And this improvement aims to provide a smoother and more stable gaming experience. Now let's move on to the installation process. I mean, I'll guide you through setting up the Sodachi emulator on your PC. So now to download the emulator, I mean to get the latest version of the Sodachi emulator, head over to this website. This is their official website, so head over to this website. So from here, you should see the latest version, I mean the latest update. So which is, so um, this is the latest version, which is version 1.0.14 so get the latest version and when you look down here it says updated don't go for this one go for the green one which says the latest version so this these are the change logs in this version and if you are if you are android user you, you have to download this one you have to go for the android and and also linux user you need to go for the linux but for windows users you you have to choose the windows this you have to choose this one so you have to press press on it and then it will start downloading i've already downloaded the i've already downloaded the emulator which is this one which is the sodachi latest emulator now before you can install the emulator or you can use the emulator you have to get your switch firmware and the product key so um so get them so now let's 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 extract the emulator So here, launch the emulator. And then here like this is encryption keys are missing. Press OK. Go to the tools session. Select on install decryption keys. Select on this. Now here, locate your product keys. Make sure your product keys and your and the firmware have the same version. Press on OK. Another one, press on two session. This time around, select firmware. Locate the folder that contains your firmware. So this is my firmware. I'll select it and then select select folder. Wait for you to finish installing. Okay, so we are done with the installation of the firmware. What we have to do is make our games to appear at this side so when you look at this double click to add a new folder to the game list just double click it and then locate the folder that contains your switch games come here like this right click and this time around select scan sub folders okay so we are done with the installation of the emulator so um now let's talk about what is new in this version so this update brings some important fixes and improvement well let me break it down for you guys first there is a new way to boot into the initial setup screen if you are running sudachi on linux mac os or windows you can now launch the setup screen directly using terminal or by going to tools open initial setup in the emulator right now it's only partially supported but the devs plans to improve it in the near future updates they've also added amazing functions to make the initial setup screen work properly so if you had issues setting up the emulator before this update should make things smoother big fix for newer games um some of the latest switch games weren't booting up properly in previous version and that's now fixed so if you had games that just wouldn't launch try it again after updating it to this version fixed a system bug um this was a problem where certain system functions weren't returning values correctly 
which could cause crashes or performance issues. Now that's, that's been patched up. Started a major rewrite of CAP system. This is a deeper system change where they've improved CAPS, CAPS A and CAPS SUs to be more accurate. It's still a work in progress, but it should lead to better game compatibility and stability in the long run. So overall, this update brings better setup support, improved compatibility for newer games and system fixes that helps to get it to run smoother. I think that's all for today's video. If you, if you really like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.